Hey, welcome. This is my uh, shot key diode arrangement. Okay, the bus tie circuit. You've seen the pictures. Let's have a look how it all comes together. Okay. I have my ESC, 40 amp plus ESC, Eternergy UBEC, 7.5 amp um, as a max, but uh, 5 amp operating. Okay. I have them connected to a single EC3 plug. Okay, they don't have to be, you can have them on separate batteries if you like. Uh, I choose to have mine on one battery. So I'll just plug that in quickly. We've just got a uh, Turnergy uh, 3 cell 2200 here. Okay, plug it in. We'll do a quick voltage check. Okay, we'll check the output of the ESC. Okay. A bit over 5.8 volts. Okay, the UBEC will turn that on, has its own on-off switch, light comes on, you'll see here, there's a short here, you move the short to be a 5 volt output, or I've got it here on the 6 volt output, okay, but you'll see it's a little bit above 6 volts anyway. Okay, you've got 6.6 .6 volts off the UBEC. Okay. So I'll pick up the bus tie circuit, I'll plug the output into the multimeter, okay. On this circuit the side that has the signal lead still attached is obviously going to come from the ESC because the UBEC doesn't have a signal lead as you're aware. So I'll plug this in here. The UBEC one, we'll grab that as well, and it's earth to earth, okay, so the earths share a common pin, they're soldered together, so make sure they're earth to earth. Okay. Not sure if you're watching the multimeter then, but when I first plugged it in, it was at the, uh, the voltage off the ESC, and as soon as I plugged in the UBEC, it went to that one. We'll have a look at this one. So you can see the voltage difference isn't too much. The shocky diode doesn't drop it down too much. Uh, it's sort of negligible. But if I turn the UBEC off, instantaneously it's going to swap over to the voltage provided by the ESC. So just look at your multimeter here. And you see it drops down to what the ESC had. On. Off. On. Okay, that's great. Um, in theory, let's put a receiver in there and see what happens. Okay, we can also monitor the output voltage of the receiver as well, or the voltage going to the receiver. So we can do that. So the first one I have here is just a uh, cheap orange receiver. Okay, so I'll just plug that in. And I'll put the output so we can measure the voltage. Okay. It's flashing. Grab a radio. Have a uh, old DX7. Works great. Do a quick bind. Okay, that's bound up. All good. You know the light's on here. Nice and bright. You see the UBEC still on, and the output voltage over here is at uh, six point, just under 6.3 volts. Okay, I'll turn this off, turn the UBEC off, and what you'll see here is that the light remains steady. Okay, the voltage will obviously decrease as well to what the ESC is providing. So turn it off, light remains on, voltage decreases. On, off. On. Okay. You can do another check here if you're not confident in the switch. You can see that. I'll just pull it off. I'll just pull that U back out. 
voltage, sorry, the light remained steady, the voltage decreased. Okay, let's try another receiver. Okay, this time I'll try an AR6200 receiver, a little Spectrum one with a satellite. See that flashing away madly? I'm still blind. Okay, all bound up well. See that light there? Again, voltage 6.26, 6.27, um, driven off the U back. Okay, let's switch it off, make sure the lights stay on. No flashing lights, drops down to the 5.5 volts supplied by the ESC. Again, on, off, on, off. Okay, I have one more spectrum receiver we can try. This one here is the uh, AR7000. Bind check. Okay, nice steady light on both the receiver and the satellite. I didn't turn it on before, so it's still 5.5 volts supplied by the ESC. So let me turn on the UBEC. Jumps up to the 6.26 volts supplied by the UBEC. You notice the lights didn't change. So let's drop out the UBEC by turning it off. Voltage drops down, light remains steady. Okay. As you know, most of the spectrum receivers will flash if it's had a brown out. On. On. Off. On. Okay, that's the spectrum type receivers. Let's try an FR Sky. Unfortunately, I do not have Fataba, so I cannot check that. But I have no reason to believe it will not work. Okay, I have a uh, 9X radio here. Okay, on my 9X radio, I have the ER9X software and a built in telemetry. The FR Sky receiver I'll use. Okay, I've already bound this one previously. The bound procedure is a little bit tougher than these spectrums. Um, I need both hands for that one. So, again, I'll just plug the output. channel. Okay. Okay, on this one here, you'll notice the lights on. It's got the 6.24 volts coming up here uh, onto the multimeter, but I've also got the telemetry here which displays close enough 6.3 volts. Okay. This time, and you've got the signal strength for the receiver and the telemetry down the bottom as well. So you'll notice here, I'm going to turn off the ES, the uh, utility back here, so that all the power is provided from the ESC, built uh, integrated back. What will happen here, the light will remain steady, the voltage will drop down um, to about 5.5 volts, the 
receive and telemetry strengths um, should remain similar. And remembering though that this voltage only works if the receiver is working. The telemetry only works if the receiver is providing this, this test. Okay, And obviously the voltage here will decrease as well. One last thing I've done, with the FR Sky you can set up alarms. And I have set an alarm up as a test for this one here. And it show, I've set my alarm at 5.8 volts. So if the receiver drops to voltage drops to uh, 5.8 volts or below, it will um, change colour in the screen. So at the moment it's black writing on a green background. It'll change to a green writing on a black background, just in that little area where the voltage is. The other thing it'll do is beep. Unfortunately, my radio is playing up just a little bit on that that area. Um, I'll have to look at that at some stage. But uh, trust me, it does normally beep. But it's a good little uh, test anyway. So I'll turn it off and we'll watch what happens. Okay, light steady. Five and a half volts. Green writing on black background. And about five and a half volts on the multimeter. And I've still got all the good uh, signal strength for the telemetry and the receiver. Okay, turn it uh, back on. Off. On. Off. Okay, that's it. Quite simple. Okay. You can, you don't need to use a utility back. You can use a uh, flight battery if you like. I know some people still use the flight batteries. So it's same same thing. I'll just disconnect uh, this provider power here. Plug in the plug in the battery. Okay, this battery obviously is is uh, slightly higher than the ESC. It's about five point. You can see here 5.74 volts after going through the Schottky diode. So that's probably about 5.8 volts, okay? But you can, I don't have a switch on this one, so the only way you can tell here is if I unplug it. So you should be able to see everything still. I'm blocking out. So I'll just unplug it. That should decrease. Decrease and the alarm will be set because it's set at below 5.8 volts. And the light should remain steady. Okay. That's what happens. Okay, um, please feel free to post questions and uh, hopefully you'll find it very, very simple. Okay, thanks for watching.